Okay, so now we are solving the second example. Now you can see that uh, the second example is quite different from the previous examples because um, after the cosine, a quadratic equation should always have zero. Okay, but before you start solving, okay, one of the things that you must be able to understand is to uh, you know uh, take note of the standard form of the quadratic equation. Okay. So we are going to write this uh, given example into a standard equation. Okay. So what you need to do is in whatever is after the equal sign, you bring it onto the left hand side. Okay. So once we bring it onto the left hand side, it changes the sign, it is positive and then now it becomes a negative, okay? And then after the equal sign, what remains is now zero, okay? So we need to find the product, the sum, and then the factors now. Okay, so the product is this A and C, and that is B. So A times C equals to two times uh, negative 12, you get to negative 0.4 so now you discover that now there are other numbers that you can multiply two other numbers that you can multiply in order now to get um, a negative 24 okay so apart from that um, Okay, so apart from that, you have um, uh, 3 multiplied by 8. Okay, that is 24. So 3 multiplied by 8 is um, 24. But again, you have to understand that um, you have to understand that our product should be a negative 24, not positive 24. So uh, you are going to give 8 a negative. Okay, and then they are also. Okay. Now the sum is this one, B, which is negative 5. So this is our sum. Now the factors are the numbers that we can add in order to get the sum. Okay. So the factors are the numbers, two numbers from the product list. Okay. Don't go and collect these numbers from any other. Okay. Or apart from you always need to collect them from the product list, okay? Because uh, we have so many numbers that can give us a negative 24. But again, on the list of those numbers, you have to ensure that you get the, those two numbers. You add them, and then they are going to give you negative um, 5, okay? So the numbers is this one and this one, okay? Meaning that uh, positive 3, this one is positive minus 8 equals to uh, negative 5 or just 3 minus 8 equals to negative negative 5 okay so make sure that you understand that concept so meaning our factors will be uh, 3 and negative 8 so after now you find the factors those two numbers, 3 and 8, now you take them and then substitute them on the sum in the actual given uh, quadratic equation, meaning where there is negative 5x, you remove negative 5x and then you put those two numbers, which is 3 and negative 8. So 2x. So at this stage now you group them at this stage now you factorize now what is common here is that x and x is common so x open bracket x into x squared just now have 2x so that if I wanted to bring back to 2x squared I can just say x times 2x um, you get 2x squared plus x into 3x, you just have 3. 
Okay. Now, what is common here? Okay. You discover that what is common is that um, um, 4 is common on both. Okay. 4 is common and, and then also the negative sign. Okay. So negative 4, open the brackets now. 4 into that, you have now 2x. And then 4 into that, you have 2 plus 3. So the key point of factorizing now is that you have to make sure that what is in the bracket now, they are just the same, okay? And once you do that, you are home and run. So what you do now that you group what is outside now, you put them together. And then what is in the brackets now, they are just the same. So you just pick one of those. So now you are going to equate each of the item in the bracket equals to zero. So you have oh. So from there now, x negative four go that side. So x equals to four, and then this one negative uh positive three will go to that. So become negative 3. And then you divide both sides now. You are going to divide both sides by. So 2, 2 goes there. So you have 2x equals to negative 3 over 2. Or, okay, or x equals to negative 1 or number. Let me just okay. So x equals to negative one, one, one number, and two. Okay. So um, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have gotten one or two, three concepts over there, and then so. Uh, the next video will be about the second method that we can use in order to apply, um, in order to solve the quadratic equation, which is uh, maybe the completing square or the quadratic formula. So, and also take note that the quadratic uh, equation uh, is not all, always solved by factorization. Some, as, uh, at some instances or sometimes the quadratic, uh, the factorization method uh, uh, most of the time it fails, okay? It does fails and uh, meaning that it cannot solve any kind of a quadratic equation. So it has got some boundaries, some limit uh, for some of the equation uh, uh, it can be able to solve, okay? So just know that if you cannot be able to find the, uh, the, the, the factors, that knows, uh, that just know that um, that kind of an equation cannot be solved by factorization, okay? So it's bye-bye and I'll see you in the next video. And please don't forget to support us by commenting, uh, liking the video, you know, um, uh, liking our page, uh, you know, subscribing to our face, uh, Facebook as well as also to our YouTube. Okay, so make sure that you, you do that so that you never miss any single update. Okay, so it's a radical current and I'll see you tomorrow.